Okay, I am going to do some mods on this, especially on push rod and rock arm. What? Take that. What I see happening is when I um, if I push it back against the, which it already is, and I turn the cam and it gets to the top of the stroke and it stays there and it's hard to push back. The reason is on this stroke the center line you know actually changes a little bit so you're adding friction back to it on that ball on that ball end. You can see the rod actually moving this way when it's on the lower side, but when you're on the top side, then it's the other way. So, but anyway, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the friction out of that. I don't know why they didn't do that with the rocker arm. You know, just go ahead and take that, take a ball and put another ball on the other side, flatten out the end of the rocker arm, you remove all the friction then. You have no friction then because it very very little because it'll slide around that ball so that's what I'm going to do with this because otherwise you know when I turn this without a rocker arm you can see it just moves freely it it there, there's no but with that rocker arm on there that's what I'm seeing anyway um, I got it so close to be an exact that unless I put a 45 around the top of that ball so that it's not half of that diameter because I'm thinking what's happening is it's pushing it one way and then pushing it the other way so it's not going to cost me anything I'll just cut that off flat on the end of the push rod then silver solder uh, ball bearing uh, another ball on the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to solder another ball on the other side. And if I'm successful with that, then we'll flatten this out and harden this because this is a hardened rod. And I'll, and I'll, I'll actually harden that and then polish it. So, so that's the plan for, that that I'm going to go with. So I'll be back after I silver solder because I think I went through the silver soldering of the ball on the other side. What I'll do is I'll do the same thing. Ah, I'll do the same thing. I'll lay a piece of a little sliver of silver solder in underneath the ball after fluxing it and then heat it up until you see the ball drop. And once you see the ball drop, you know that that silver solder has melted and it'll be silver soldered in place. So that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and do Yeah, I set the tripod up so we can look, kind of look over my shoulder a little bit. And uh, what I did was I put a ball, I put, I silver soldered a ball in the end here, in the end of the of the rocker arm. I took the uh, no focus or not. I want you to focus on this. There we go. So anyway I heat treated the end of it and then polished the end. So so we'll see if we can put it back together and see if we have any luck here. I won't have my length set now. And just we'll put this spring on. And this slide, and I did make the slides. Uh, I slotted out the slide uh, screw holes so that they can float where they need to be, and then I tighten them up. Okay. The thing is now. 
they can they don't really need to float uh, because if it's off a little bit up and down it's not really going to matter so let's see if I can get this attached find the screw hole. I get one in there anyway. Alright. I like this being able to adjust it anyway. I can adjust it up and down. If I need to go in and out I can shim it. But now that we're on that ball, I don't think I'm going to need to. All right, so now, now will it, oh yeah, see now, now it's not, I think I could get by without that spring in there even. So, like I say, quite honestly, I'm not sure why they, uh, why the designer, Krizel, I mean, I think that was his name, too. Oh, yeah, David Krizel. I'm not sure why he went with the ball in there, because all that does is introduces more friction to it. And if you put a ball, if you're going to silver solder a ball on one end, why not do them both? And then that way you don't have any friction on either side. While you have friction, but it's really minute. The contact point is on the ball is small, especially now that I've hardened that. Now, see, now, I wish I would have hardened the end of the... Uh, um, valve too because I believe I made that out of 01 also. I started with nails and, and then I didn't like it so I ordered material and so we are one step closer just gotta set, so, set it so that there's a gap there Just in far enough, I don't think. I might have to. Uh, hope that's not so hard that I can't uh, uh, turn that. Yeah, it's going to have to be. Well, you know what? I can I can cut some of the thread off because I have more thread, and it's hanging out the back and it's bottoming out where I tap. So we'll just take that off and unthread it. Hopefully that spring won't go flying. Alright, I'm just going to go over the lathe and I'm going to cut about a hundred thou or maybe a little more off of the end of the thread and then uh, I'll come back and we'll put it together again and we'll see what we get so I'll be back okay day's not coming out starting out real well see what I did I broke it off broke the threads right off of it so now I can either make it over or cut it off and silver solder threads onto it. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make it over. <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult. Uh, yeah. Crap. Yeah, I thought I was being careful, but no, apparently not careful enough. So, I have more material. As a friend of mine would say, there's always more material on the rack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't see any other way of, of actually making this work other than cobbing together and silver soldering a piece on to it. So, well, I, I, you know, I could take some bigger material 
but then I don't have much room for a spring. You know, I'm just gonna make it over. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back when I get it made over. Okay, round two. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn autofocus off and then manual focus that. Let's see. Got right here. That way it ain't jumping around. Um what I did was I stole the other one from the the other motor and uh cut it off, heat treated it, and I'll get this one to work and then I'll make the other one. So hopefully if I have to cut any threads off, I'm grinding them off instead. <sighs> Can't believe I did that. Alright. It's over and done with. Spring. Can't whine about it all day. Won't get nothing done that way. <laughs> well, let's see. Screw out. Put this in. Now. in underneath here oh wow I hit that hole right away the last time I fought to get to find it and to get it in there all right so I can adjust it up and down a little bit and get this in there get the rocker on them on Caught a pin in it. See if I can break something else. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, so I got quite a bit of big gap there now, so I gotta crank it out. <sighs> They're, they're saying they wanted a, they wanted a 20 valve gap. It's about a 10 thousandths gap right there. And I'm looking to see, and I'm going to have to run a die over to get more thread for a nut. I can see that. Won't have enough room for a nut. But, you can see that No problem there. No problem with um, riding it or coming back all the way. So, I think we're in business with that, with that uh, putting that ball on there. So I just need to make a, another rod for the other engine. Uh, what did I, what I got to do on this one now? I'm gonna I'll have to make the brass nut for that. Let's see how can I can I take and adjust that? I'm wondering if I'm going to need that spring. So I'm going to take this off of there, take that spring out of there once and see. The valve spring, I think, 
will push it back without that spring. Take that spring off of there. Oop, got too far. Oh, come on now. Oop. Got it set a little low on the ball here. See, I can adjust it because it's slotted. All right, so. Yep. Do not need that spring. I can touch the end of it and see that it doesn't. The valve, I mean, the valve, it's totally releasing the valve. So, that gives me a little more room. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, turn the thread up a little bit. And put a sleeve and a and a nut on there. Could almost just because now I could actually put my magnet holder back here. Instead of up here. Hmm, that's an idea. Well, regardless, I need to make another shaft. And I was working on uh, the fly one. So let's put this all together here and see just what I got to do to this. Um, need to put this over here, out here so that I can these in and then, then slide it slide it on and then take this you can't see can you uh, I need to get a smaller tripod that will actually hold that camera. <laughs> the tripods I have, um, they're a little small and I don't think they'll hold that camera very stable. I haven't tried, but... Okay, drop the pin in. That's about in as far as I can go, right there. And turn, turn the valve around to the tops of its stroke. Unless I do some whittling on it, it's not going to make it. Uh, I can take the camera off here and show you what I'm talking about. Yep. And we'll turn it back on autofocus. Okay, so if you look down there at that. Okay. 
we look at it over here, right there. Can't uh, can't make it. Can't make it by the the and back here. You can see right there that it would it's going to hit it's going to hit the the little and I've already whittled away on that duck head. Uh, you can see that it's obviously not a, a nice radius on it anymore. <laughs> but I'm going to have to whittle away a little bit away on that lever, I think, too, in order to get it to swing by there. I noticed in the book that he's got this this lever uh, radius and swift head and uh, all chewed up too. So that's why. <laughs> to get it to to uh, clear everything and I think I'm gonna cut that notch I think I'm gonna cut that notch down on that also it doesn't need to be that high it only needs to be like you know 40 thou or 50 thou and that's about twice as much as it needs to be so that way I can pull this out a little bit you know if I pull it out to about I'm trying to do this one-handedly and this wrap keeps getting in the way okay so I could be right there nope it's gonna hit that's about as far in as I can go so, so if I cut half of this, of that off, it'll be okay, and the duck heads and everything clear. So, I got some tinkering to do there, and then I got to start thinking about um, spark plug. I was playing around with these uh, smaller plugs that I have and just sticking them in to see what it would look like. And I think that would be about the right length plug and the right size. So if put the right threads on and keep it this size. Keep it this size, the insulator and everything, and put the right thread on, I'll, I'll be in business. So the other one sits over here on the surface plate on the other my other surface plate and I haven't done anything with that yet and like I say I got the broken rod laying here now <laughs> that I have to make over and then I'll have to take this out the rock route and silver solder a ball on that right away and oil oh, yeah and this one Um, I might need to put uh, some shim or shim block or shims underneath to move it out a little bit. Otherwise, the rocker arm sitting like that. You know, so I want to try to get the rocker arm as level as possible. So I may end up putting a washer underneath to shim it out a little bit, which is okay. I, I, nobody will even notice it. But yeah, I got the picture up right here. And you can see, you can see uh, how much whittling he ended up doing on his also. Where if he would have just cut this off a little bit, he could have moved it back. Because it doesn't need to engage that far. It's it, The only thing it's holding is holding that uh, cam open. And uh, why isn't it wanting to focus here? I don't know if it's oh it's a reflection in the in there. But but yeah it plus it looks like he might have whittled away on uh he did. He did you can see the tops of his 
uh, arms are there whittled down too. So, and oh, and then I got a, I got a, I have to wind uh, um, tension springs also. So, uh, and make pin, make those pins. So, so. I'll have to decide what I want to do next. Well, what I should do next is make that rod over and fix fix that so that I got the other one caught up to this and get this one caught up. And then from there, once I get that caught up to this one, I'm going to go ahead and um, take these levers. I'm going to cut half that notch off because it doesn't need to be that that much of a notch and and then uh, well the first thing I'm gonna do is get that lever or the push rod made so I'll be back when I get that push rod made and we start working on the other one getting it to everything to fit so I'll be back